ladies, congratulations. How exciting to be back to doing press for season two. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Pleasure to talk to you. Likewise, thank you. Now let's start with Zoli. I mean, we saw you growing up in season one from this gal that's making a difference, studying, hitting the books. You know, everyone sees her with a book in her hand. And now <laughs> we see you. Will we possibly be still seeing you with a book for season two? But yes. also as a mother. Yeah, you will see the, the balance of both because Cherie is still trying to, you know, finish her education. But yeah, she's entered a new journey where she brought a life into this world. So um, she's still going through transitions and phases, but I would say she's a young, not just a young lady, but she's a young mother now. So yeah. For you, Erica, playing Linda, you are the one that's keeping the family together, the matriarch, although you left. Yeah. But look who followed. <laughs> the gang. The yeah, whole okay. gang. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's not unlike uh, many people in her generation. She had, in this show, four children that are represented, but she, actually 11. And um, I'm sure she started very, very young. Uh, Zoli's character, Shuri, has a child still as a teenager. And that was very much how I grew up um, in Philadelphia and whatnot. So many uh, women were uh, wimp, young women were pregnant, and so, so many black women were. It was a it was a phenomenon that has never been repeated. And so, um, to her point, the fact that she has these children and she's trying to balance it all, and yes, she does move away from Staten Island to Cleveland to try to give get a cleaner slate to give herself some room to breathe. And they end up coming and bringing their problems is the problem of motherhood. You can't outrun it, and she doesn't. But to her credit her children start to become themselves and grow into themselves. And so in that way, she's done a good job. Your characters are one of those characters that are always like try making a difference, uh, regardless what's going on in the surroundings. Why do you help people take away from your character? Because your guys' characters have a lot of great qualities to learn from. I hope people take away that, you know, women are the backbone a lot of the times. Um, we're not always in the front or you might not always see us, but we are at home or wherever it might be just behind the scenes, you know, running things or organizing things or getting it together and letting the guys know, giving them a different perspective, giving them a different point of view um, to help them change their minds and kind of mature and come to their own uh, self. But just, yeah, like we're giving our own perspective and, and just to appreciate the women in your life more because our characters and us as real women in the real world, you know, we do a lot. So just to appreciate the women in your lives. And the other thing I'd like to say is that um, this show is not told from the point of view of a female voice. So we're kind of very, um, I, I think, tradition, put in a tr very traditional role, which is very untraditional for black and brown people and brown women. Mm -hmm. brown, black and brown women, uh, they worked. Uh, they were, they ran their households and they were not the side players. They were the players. We're seeing that now with people like Stacey Abrams, Ayanna Presley, and people like Marilyn Mosby and Kamala Harris. But those people grew up in that time. So uh, one of the things I'd like to say is that we need uh, more of a point of view, even inside of this show, from a female point of view. It's a very male show, and that makes sense, but those males would not be there without the hands of women and the hard work and the sacrifice of women that uh, held them up, and not only that, gave them the pathway and often the money to do what they were doing. To wrap up, one word, what does Wu-Tang Clan mean to you? Zoli, Zoli? Unity. Power. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, thanks for holding it down in the female space media. We appreciate you. Of course. Thank you. And we got the memo. Oh, <laughs> we so <sure> did. <laughs> Looking great. That's awesome. You guys look lovely. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Welcome.